Hello everyone! In this video, I will be showing you some of the basic materials that you can start with if you are if you would like to start with um, doodling or drawing zentangles or zentangle inspired art. So what are these materials? Well, um, we need a pencil. It doesn't have to be some fancy pencil, even HP pencil would do. And when I say this is a dollar store pencil, you can start with that too, okay, if you have that. Uh, a pen that doesn't bleed through, okay, like a Sharpie pen, but there are other brands out there that works. They look like markers when you write with them, but they don't bleed through thin papers. Now, if you like to draw circles and, um, you know, you feel like your circle doesn't really look like a real circle, you can use a compass. And if you want to divide the circle into different sectors, you can use a protractor for that because the protractor can really help you divide your circle into equal sized sectors just like what i did in this um, drawing and here i divided the entire circle or every circle into equal sized sector okay so and of course eraser when you make mistakes or if you want to get rid of those guidelines after a while then you really need erasers so these are the basic materials i'm not going to advise you to buy expensive pens like micron pens in the beginning because the i would suggest that in the beginning just um, practice drawing these patterns or you know like start with simple patterns and then um, experiment with more complicated patterns and then practice like combining these patterns and see what they look like. You know what's interesting about um, um, drawing Zentangle inspired art or Zentangle is that you really, if, if if it's not planned, you really don't know what the result and that's exciting in a way. And it's all about the process really. It's all about, you know, um, enjoying that particular moment and just, just focusing on drawing those lines. And it really clears your head of the worries and stress and you know, it, at least for me, even after a stressful day, um, once I start, you know, with my home responsibilities, because it's kind of hard to transition from work to home, especially if you're working from home. But it's like from being a teacher since the pandemic started and I had to teach from home, I have a, I had a hard time like transitioning from, from being a teacher to being a mom. So I have to really like draw a line in between. and you know, drawing patterns and doodling and zentangles and zentangle inspired art allowed me to, you know, um, transition very peacefully, okay, from being a teacher to being a mom, really, it does help. So these are the basic materials. Now, once you're already very comfortable drawing patterns on maybe a line paper like this, just like here, you draw a square and then start with simple patterns, like I said earlier. Then you can start um, experimenting with, you know, other pens. And you can buy micron pens and you can buy them in, as a set or you can buy them as individuals. If you are not sure whether this is the pen that you would like to use long term, I would say try zero one tip in the PN. So the zero one is pretty thin, but not super thin that when you start shading your work that it would get lost in the um, shade. PN is the same way, okay? It looks like they're just the same um, size, but PN is actually a little thicker. In PN, you can actually draw sideways and just create a different kind of effect, you know? With this one, it's a little different. See that? So, there's the difference. So, I'd say really these two, okay? Because if you buy the thicker ones, it's hard to um, draw the fine details. But these two. And then if you like this brand, because it's a pretty good brand. It doesn't smudge. Uh, if you, you, It can draw over um, charcoal. It can draw over um, paint. So it, it's a good pen. And the tips are very sturdy. Even the fine, you know, the, even the really fine tips are, are sturdy. It doesn't bend or break easily. 
very reliable. So anyway, there's that. Um, so micro pants, that's what I use now. I like it, but um, you know, when I have um, a chance in the future, I, I would want to try other brands too. I mean, why not, right? And then, you know, after a while, you'd want to add shading to your drawing so it doesn't look very flat, right? I mean, you can you can create that effect even without um, using um, uh, dark pencils for shading. Uh, you can do that with pens too. But if you want to do shading with um, graphite pencils, you can do that. And that's when you have to start buying some of those really um, specialized pencils or drawing pencils. In my case, I like to use charcoal pencils um, for shading. I use Tortillon to, um, you know, um, spread that the materials on my, on my paper because I like to use smoother paper and uh, yeah, this really helps a lot. So that's that and uh, what else? So the thing is with paper, I don't want to be specific, oh, use this, use this paper, but because if you're practicing grid paper, a, a regular math notebook with grids on them would be perfect. Just be mindful of what type of pen you're using. Don't buy the ones that bleed through. When you're comfortable, I say, hey, experiment with different kinds of paper. Try card stocks, uh, try um, drawing pet, uh, papers, um, different surfaces. Some are smooth, some are medium surface, some are 200 series, 500 series. I still have a lot to learn about these types of paper, believe me. And that's what's fun about this entire journey for me is that I am continuously learning. I'm not saying I know it all because I don't. I also watch other people's videos to learn techniques. I search the internet for some interesting patterns I can try. That's what's good about this whole thing is that um, you're not just drawing, but you're also learning. And when you're starting to draw, it takes you to that meditative state, that state of nothingness. And then you're just being you in your little bubble. And then after that, you feel so revived that even after a stressful eight hour day or, or longer, you could still be productive. And if you're a mom like me, still be a loving mom, not feeling grumpy even after a stressful day. So I hope you learned from this video, everyone. Just a quick recap. Don't start with expensive materials. Dollar store pencil, dollar store pencil is fine. Protractors and um, a pen that doesn't leak through. Have a great day and I hope you have fun drawing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching this video.